Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video I will take a look at how to use search options in Avada. There are a wide range of search features and functionality in Avada, so you can help your users find exactly the content they are looking for. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. There are multiple ways and places you can enable search functionality on your Avada website. If you're using a header layout for your site, you can add a search icon to your menu via an Avada special menu item. If you're still not using Avada layouts, you can also enable it on your main menu by way of a global option. Alternatively, you can also add search functionality in your header or indeed anywhere in your page content with the search element. And for the search results page, you can control the look of the page with a layout section using the archives or postcard archives element to display the results or just with global options. Let's have a look at all these possibilities. To start with, let's look at adding a search icon to your menu when using Avada layouts. Here on the Avada Food Prebuilt site, we can see a search icon in the main menu. You will find this search icon on many of the other prebuilt sites as well, like the podcast, fitness and modern shop sites. This method involves adding an Avada special menu item into your menu. I'll just add one to the main menu on a new site so you can see how it works. I have the Country Butcher prebuilt site here. I'll head to the WordPress menu page, found at Appearance Menus, and here on the left at the bottom, we can see the Avada special menu items. As it says in the note, these items only work in the menu element. So I'll select Search and click Add to Menu. This then comes in at the end, which in this case is exactly where I want it. If I open the menu item and go to the Avada menu options, we can control the mode of the search form. There are three modes, inline, drop down and overlay. I like overlay so I'll select that. I'll save this and save my menu and let's head back to the home page and refresh. And there's our search icon. When I click on it you can see it overlays the menu. How this search form works is further controlled by the search form global options. If I head to the global options and go to search, search form, we can see there are a lot of options here to control the functionality of the form. At the top we can limit search to various post types and if this is set to yes we can choose which post type search is enabled for. What you see here will also depend on what post types you have on your site. Below this you can limit the search to just post titles if you want or just leave it on the default of no for search to use the full content. Under this is an option to search for WooCommerce product SKUs. As the description notes, this will only work if products have been added to the search results content. Then there's the search form design. There is the classic or clean look. This is the clean design, but here I might just change this to classic. Below this you can enable live search, which I will do, and set the minimal character count for that to kick in. You can also control the number of posts the live search displays and the height of the results container. Finally, you can decide whether to display the featured image and post type of the specific results. I'll leave both of these on. I'll just search for beef here, which has the required four characters to initiate the live search, and here we can see the live results. You can then click on the individual results to go to that page, or if you hit enter in the search field, this will take you to the search results page. But we will look at that a bit later. Ok, that's adding a search icon to the menu element when using Avada Layouts. If you're not using Avada Layouts yet, you can still enable the search icon on your main menu using a legacy method. This is done in the Avada Global Options at Avada, Options, Main Menu. As we are using a layout here on this site, the settings of this tab are disabled, but they look like this. Here you will find an option to enable a main menu search icon, and this places a search icon at the far right of the existing main menu. Ok, let's move on to the search element. This can be used in headers, page title bars, or just in normal page content. Using this element, you can have search functionality anywhere on your site. Here we can see it's being used in the header layout section of the pet supplies site and here on the retail site it's just in the page content. It's in a nested column here so if I just open the column and then edit the search element we can see the options. Here you have full control over its design and functionality. For full details on this element please see the how to use the search element video linked below. Ok so let's now move to the search results. Again there are a couple of options. Let's just head to the interior design site and search for a lamp. The live results come up 
but if I hit enter in the search field, it takes us to the results page. On this site, this content is being controlled by a layout section. This method gives you the ultimate flexibility with your search results design. At the top here, there is a page title bar layout section dynamically showing us the term searched for. And below this, there is an instance of the search element so users can search again. Under the page title bar layout section is the content layout section. This shows us the results in a grid. And below this, there are some popular categories with a cool rollover feature. If we search for something that doesn't exist, let's say cake, we instead get a notice with an icon above it instead of the results grid. Let's take a quick look at how this was set up. As we can see in the layouts on this site, the search results page is coming from a conditional layout that's set to display only on the search results. If we go to the content layout section in Nevada Live, we can see the results are coming from the postcard archives element. You can configure this element in many ways and include or exclude the different types of meta information. For more information on this element, please see the linked video. And under this is that other container with a title and the popular categories. If you want ultimate control over your search results, this is the method to use. If you don't use Avada Layouts, you get an automated search results page that looks like this. It shows us the results in a grid. This page is generated automatically and controlled by the Search Page Global Options found in the options under Search, Search Page. Here you can control a lot of the layout and functionality of the page. But again, this is a legacy method and is never going to give you the flexibility of Avada Layouts. Okay, that's a bit of a rundown on the various options you have for search in Avada. Hopefully you are already using the search function in the Avada documentation and finding lots of good stuff. Thanks for watching. Okay, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.